This short video shows how to configure Treasure Agent. It is assumed that you have already signed up for Treasure Data. The first step is to look up your API key. Log into Treasure Console and click on the Team tab. Click on your username. Then go to the API key tab. You need to type in your password to see the API keys in the clear. Please make sure that you use the write-only API keys and not the master API keys for Treasure Agent. Next, let's download Treasure Agent. Treasure Agent is packaged for Mac, Red Hat CentOS, and Ubuntu Debian. Since I'm installing it on Ubuntu, I will copy and paste the installation script into my shell. Treasure Agent is installed. The next step is changing the configuration to send data to Treasure Data with the API key that we retrieved earlier. Now the API key has been changed. Let's restart Treasure Agent to reflect this change. Finally, I will send an event to confirm that everything is working. I'm going to use this tool called Fluent Cat, which you can think of as Netcat for Treasure Agent. An event has been sent. Treasure Agent supports reliable transport via buffering, so that this data is right now buffered. But for the purpose of this demo, I will flush out the buffer using user1 signal. Buffer is being flushed. Now let's double check that the event is recorded in Treasure Console. Close the sample DB, TD agent, and there it is, an event with the message hello world. This concludes the short tutorial video on how to install and run Treasure Agent. To learn more about Treasure Agent, please visit the URL on the screen.